The Extension Services Manager Paul Akuram explains that the guide for the feasibility study is divided into five phases. Phase one is to establish the authority, create an act and allocate funding for the authority to start work. The second phase is construction. Third phase is resettlement. And phase four is compensation assessment. That's when all the damages that has been done since Manan people came to the mainland against the locals and the locals hit to them, it has to be assessed. There's a lot of damages done. People are hurt. This has to be uh, compensated. Yeah. So that's phase four. Phase five is monitoring and evaluation of the project. Akram explains that the five phases has been reassessed and it would cost 700 million kina to implement. And that's 15% of, uh, of what the World Bank said. 15% uh, uh, government contribution. We're trying to get another 85% from overseas to donors. That's the assessment Indeed. we've done. The manual guide was given to the former Medin governor at the time, Sir Anul Ahmed, who engaged a consultant with Mara to incorporate the five phases into a workable data. But then the problem is money. Uh, after that, we made a submission through the provincial government. We made a submission to uh, Central Agency Coordinating Committee. That's CACC from Provincial uh, National Department of National Planning Department. They approved it and gave us two, three million kina in 2000. This was in 2012, and in 2013 they put it in the budget for us. So we got three million in 2013, and then another three million in 2014. The Manam Resettlement Act is valid for a five-year period. Since it was passed in 2006, it expired in September of 2011 with nothing done during that five-year period. Another act was drafted in 2012 that included only relevant departments to start work. So we, we allowed national planning, uh, Department of Provincial and Local Level Government, Medeng, Department of Medeng, uh, and lands. All these people that are concerned, we put them together. Ramu Development Foundation, or RDF, was established by Ramu Nikol to help the landowners. But we, got, we, we approached them and we said, can you people expand that? So that give us the money, we will look after it and do whatever we can for the people. So Ramu Development Foundation was a catalyst type of company. The Ramu Development Foundation assessed the value of the projects and estimated it would cost at least 3 billion kina. The new Manam Resettlement Act was passed on the 31st of March 2016 by the former Prime Minister Peter O'Neill. A board was formed and an account was set up, but it is not known if funds are available. They did not give any money to the, the board uh, account. So Martha Lewis, National MTV News, Medellin.